Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this 3D kinda looking globe in After Effects. Uh, it's entirely made up out of 2D layers though in Illustrator, uh, but you can add this little effect in After Effects that kinda gives it a 3D uh, look. I don't know. Um, so first we'll jump into Illustrator where I can uh, show you how I create this. Uh, first I have this background with these stars on it, it's just one layer. Then I have the globe itself, and I have the, the map itself. Um, and then I created the shadow uh, on the globe, with, and how I do that is by com copying with Command C the, the globe, and then Command F to paste it in place on the exact same spot. And then if I hold Option on my keyboard and I drag this over here, I actually copy it as well. So now I have two of these, select them both, and then go to your pathfinder and get, uh, click minus front, which will delete this part, the front globe, out of the uh, one beneath it. So click that, and then we have um, the shadow. Let's make it black and the opacity at 10%, and there you go. Um, so now we're going to save this like this in Illustrator. Um, click right here, release to layers, sequence. Select them all, drag them out of layer one. You can delete layer one now. And let's call this one um, um, <coughs> shadow, sorry. Um, this is uh, the map and the globe and the background. And we're going to save that and then open After Effects. Um, yeah. Open that up, globe, all right. Uh, layer size, okay. Then I open that composition. Uh, first off, ch uh, check all of them. We can lock the background, we don't need, we don't need that. Uh, maybe let's, ooh, let's zoom in here. And now we have all these layers, which we don't, the shadow we don't need uh, for now. We go to work with the globe and a map. And now we need to mask this map inside this globe. So we're going to duplicate by pressing Command D the globe, put it on top of the map. Let's call this mat and when we go to map and we can select our track mat will be alpha mat the the mat layer so now the the map is inside this circle only visible inside that circle so if i move it around it will only be visible within this circle so now we can if you want we can animate it so i want it maybe to go from here go, open p in your keyboard position and go to a few, few seconds later and we'll drag it over here. So now we already have this kind of 2D effect of this globe turning around, but it's very flat. So we can add a layer new adjustment layer. Click and that's just empty. And in my effects and presets, I'm going to search for bulge. There you go. And I'm going to drag that onto my adjustment layer. And we have this little bulge effect here, if I zoom in. This one is uh, already a bit zoomed in here. So I can control my radius. Uh, let's put that at like 400. No, that's too much. 300. Yeah, kind of like that. And 300 as well. So this now is the size of my bulge. You can already see something happening here. If I turn my adjustment layer on or off, then the bulge is already there actually. Um, and you can play with the bulge height. If I put this at two, it's really bulgy, which doesn't look good. Uh, one is fine, I think. Maybe 0.5. Yeah, one is better. Just leave it at one. Uh, Anti-aliasing aliasing at high, just best quality. Uh, we want the best quality. And that's actually it. Now it kind of has this 3D, um, effect. Uh, you can see it if I, while I'm playing it back and I turn it on and off, you can see the difference. Uh, it's not a 3D shape though, so it's kind of a fake 3D effect, but it uh, does make the globe a little bit more um, globish <laughs> around, um, more like a ball. So you can of course add uh, multiple things to this to, to make it more believable, like adding some clouds or something or whatever you want. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Just a cool little effect just to create some 3D effect on your globe. Okay, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next one. 
Thank you. Bye-bye.